Tobozani and welcome to today's episode of the Journey series. I am Obuji Gogo and I welcome you to this episode of the Journey series where I share with you guys my experience um, before initiation, during initiation as well as after initiation. Before we get into today's video, please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and also please do give the video a thumbs up and also please do not forget to comment on the comment section down below and I want to say this guys, I know that I have people that come back um, to watch the videos and they haven't subscribed already. If that subscribe button is still red, then it means you haven't subscribed yet. Please do click on that button. Please do subscribe. Please don't just come back and watch without subscribing. You know yourself. You know I'm talking to you. So please do join us and let us all navigate African spirituality together. And also please do make sure that you like the video. When you press on that like button, um, the more people um, that press on the like button, then it means that YouTube is going to start recommending the channel to other people. YouTube is going to recommend the video to other people and then that is how we are going to grow. So guys, subscribing and liking is very important um, for a growth of the channel and commenting as well because the minute you comment, the more the engagement, the more oh, YouTube is going to now start recommending the channel to other people because we have one my okay, the video are getting engagement so please guys kindly engage i urge each and every one of you to kindly engage engage by liking engage by subscribing engage by commenting on the comment section down below let us all navigate african spirituality together without wasting any more time let's get into today's video and for today i am talking about my journey during initiation so and some of the events during initiation so let's get into it on last week's episode i ended where i was telling you guys that okay now um i had started upatha and and praying for ubona ukobela uh, also if you haven't watched the previous videos please do start from where the journey starts then so okay as i said on the previous video of the journey series now i had started with upatha my sister and i we had started upatha mostly i'll just make reference to myself because i'm talking about myself here when she shares her journey she will also like talk about herself more you know okay so now we had started upatha and then um right so okay, each and every time see a pastor, pastor bonu kobela. Most at this day and age, um, you can see someone. Maybe if you see isangoma, let's say you see upuji koko on social media, you can see upuji koko, and then you feel like your spirit gravitates towards upuji koko. Then you you can like start a pastor and ask your ancestors, but is it okay that you go into um because you now want to initiate and then your ancestors are going to show you but okay um you can go or do not go so the main important thing when it comes to your journey is that we are past you pray for everything that you do so that's what i was doing as well and then um there was a specific gobela that like i would see in my dreams you know Okay, so um, I would see Ukobela in um, the specific Kobela that I'm talking about. I would see her in my dreams, and my sister would also dream about her. So I can Mrs. Palisu Pasangaye like all the times she passes Buzangaye. Then okay, after passes Buzangaye, um, my sister had a dream of a surname. Now it was like around, it was around end October, um, end October. Um, beginning of December, uh, beginning of November 2020, 2020, yes. So, I guess it's end October, beginning November. And then my sister has a dream of a surname, but I'm not gonna say this surname. My sister has a dream, keep that, keep that in mind, keep what I'm about to tell you guys in mind, it's very important. So, my sister has, um, a dream about a surname and it is a 
my sister has a dream about a certain surname i'm just gonna use my surname she has a dream i'm making an example like i'm, I'm i don't want to say this the real surname of the person so my sister has a, a dream of a surname and in Hati, like um sitwasa payana uh, and we were wearing amahiya elanga you know okay so fine um a few days later now i had a dream Ingati, we were at my Ingati most best particular like specific gobela about casing I am a paya. So mna, I had a dream that says Sizoya pa kulamp ande yellow certain gobela that I'm asking about, but she will not be ukobela way to. Hey, I was like, it in nalendo, it in nalendo. The dream says, yes, we are going to impande, yeah, okay, we are going to go there. But when we get there, she's not going to be Ukobela Wetu. We will have Omnia Ukobela. And I saw Lokobela, but I didn't know Lokobela Charles of Ukobela Wetu. I didn't know this woman that they were saying is going to be Ukobela Wetu. I only knew the woman that I was passing specifically about. But okay, since I was back right now, but see a person like. I so I tell my sister and then we are both like what the hell and then Skubelek is partial and we pray every guys every day without fail we would go see your partial and some was Puma Panda Epsuko I saw you can remember when the Antoni went off see your partial and some and then we go back to our rooms go three extend we wake up and we pray in our rooms that's what we would do so okay the day oh so now um like this thing yoba we need to go like when it's time for you to go a place where you like you will feel but you need to go you need to go you need to go so there was that thing both within my sister and i that that's like okay it's time now you need to go you're wasting time you will feel it i'm sure you know if you're watching this video and you've went through initiation or you know right now what, what you're going through but you need to go to a different you know the feeling so okay my sister calls um ukobela lord okay right now like so she calls him and then she asks her about okay like and then she says but it's her and i and whatnot so we communicate um of course we communicate and no basically communicate and i was we couldn't go but your show like we are gala and stuff so we had to communicate over the phone and communicate everything that we are going to need for you person da, 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 da. and then the rest is his stream but okay so now on this day see um on the on the 15th Dangina a pechwen in the fifteenth of November twenty twenty. On the fifteenth of November, Sam I guess I don't a pechwen with my sister. We left at home go two AM. We were being driven by my brother. My brother lives here in Pretoria, like he works and lives here in Pretoria. So like he was coming this way Vel and I so he drove us to Mpumalanga. So we left and go to XM. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I had a video to Zongini Patreon, but now I'm so But I'm gonna try and find them. If I find them, I'm gonna post them, like I'm gonna put them here. But if I'm just Fumananga, I'm so sad. Like I'm really sad. I had the pictures the first first day of it. But anyway, okay, so see on again again we any. Okay, we drove to Mpumalanga with my brother. We left a kaya or two extent because like it's like a, a a twelve to fifteen hour drive from the Eastern Cape to Mpumalanga. So we drove from uh, Eastern Cape side of it again Mpumalanga. When we got there, Safikela um I'm gonna say it because that was a limbalentia. So Safika get a secunda, then we stopped a garage and then we asked around ba we are asking for this Goko's address and whatnot. And then, okay, um, some guy who was also on Kosa uh, directed us while he was on the and then he was like, okay, now we are around there. So we might as well just drop him off. And then we was by one of my Kosa. Like, it's always nice to get to see on your Kosa, you know, because in your provinces, because it's rare. Okay. So far, I can we get to the Gobela's place mind you get guys mamelani before i left home 
like we left home si 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 fasti le si tanazile cause like you know na my idea of ipeso I I pictured the way like and andis nikezele and then saying come I wanna do this when I left home I left home dinga tanga even on the way I wasn't eating like I wasn't eating anything I remember though I bought e bubble gum I also bought e e sweets e main nuts but like I wasn't eating them I was like okay in terms of the person and ask but if like are they allowed or not so okay when I left home. I had prayed, I had fasted. Da maninga tanga ekaya. Even a few days before, I was on a fast, and I had told myself that India enda when you wait, it's hard. Like my idea of a person was that every day we wake up, we go to the river, go three exeni, and then we come back. We 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 do whatever. Maybe we come back and clean. Like I had conditioned my mind for that, and. I thought to myself, it's a place where we don't eat sweets. We don't eat. We are constantly praying. We are constantly fasting. We are constantly connecting. I pictured it as somewhere where we go. So, so rumbi me, so so rumbi me. To a place where we go, we learn about herbs and whatnot. Like I, I just pictured a place where you don't even use your phone. You are completely out of the world. Okay, like you are within your spiritual self. Like oh my gosh, that is nigezelena. Kubanza nigezelena. When it comes to my spirituality, shame I will not lie. So okay, si figure ngo kwe pesho ni kwa 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 bela lo tina that we said. Okay, we are going to. So when we get there, okay, singing in Dumbeni, there were other initiates that were there, and there were others who had just initiated, but get they hadn't gone home because you know most like wanted to show, but before um after initiation you don't like go home immediately, immediately, immediately like you don't trust her today, tomorrow you're going home. So fine, um fine when we get inside in Dumbeni. Ukoko as they get the 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 gogo the gobela, the gobela that we've told ourselves versus or trust our corner. I think she was very kind. She was very sweet. Oh, before that, let me tell you guys something. When we entered the gate, ne, everyone was looking at us like the energy in there was just hostile. Okay, and imagine we are from the Eastern Cape. I don't know honestly what's the problem with um people from Mpumalanga. Like I don't know what's the problem this side like with Abantu Basa Eastern Cape guys. I honestly do not know Uba Sinzani. But when we got them, like the the image man remember, like my my dead eye was like literally here it was here because i left home in the party in tanazile we had left home in the party you know most now that all this about us and more yen you can sense any anything anything so okay we got there the energy was just hostile the way they were looking at us how we were dressed like like it's like they were like seasons are better and we are yellow bones because like everyone there was like dark skinned I remember there was one girl who was like light in complexion, but like everyone was like brown to dark skinned, and then dark skinned, and then there comes us. I'm a yellow bone, and we are coming wearing like nice clothes. I don't know. Anita was wearing. I was wearing events, guys. <laughs> Anita was wearing e flops. I got puma, and then they were like, "Why did we bring fancy clothes?" Cause they pay for any. All right. Fine, we enter again inside a petrol. I mean, we enter inside um, in Dumbeni. Uh, I remember I I had like imi flecho, and then like um, what was I wearing? I was wearing a skirt. I don't remember what I was wearing on top, and then but I was just so casual. There was no need for you to judge me on some designs of petrol and stuff like that. The, that was the energy that we were getting there. Okay, so far now again, um, we enter in Dumbeni with Ukoko, and then um, Ukoko they 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 oh, and then Ukoko comes in in Dumbeni, and then she asks us about ourselves, um, and whatnot. But Sisuga P, we are from the Eastern Cape. Uh, she complimented us. She was very nice. She, like I will not lie, 
she was very nice okay so we had a conversation and everything that needs to be done was done and then some but getting at the same shall sitting room um at that point we were still allowed to sit on the couch um so we went to sit a sitting room on the couch and then like she told us they told us that it's the last time we are sitting on the couch soon we'll be sitting on the floor and we won't be allowed to sit on the couch most when you're an initiate you're not allowed to sit on the couch so things that we were not yet initiates at that point like messing a car that means what everything that needs to be done that's like okay now you're an initiate you don't eat um milk you don't eat eggs you don't do this you don't do that you don't do that you don't sit on the floor you, i mean don't sit on the couch you don't da, da, da. so okay fine i can we sit down as we are sitting down like people are entering and they are looking at us like like mosu koko like had like initiates she had like quite a number of initiates so every time they enter they give us that look you know but, hmm. yo i don't know but that was just so uncomfortable and weird and we were both like we don't wanna be here like what the mm, like and i was like it's gonna be a long long journey with this kind of energy that we are receiving so and what was shocking us is that like we are used to you know when you're used to like in the SNK when you greet it's always like hi unjani there it's it's like you you will greet someone will greet you and then you will greet back then when you ask about how are you the person is not gonna answer it's just a greeting and then the person or sometimes like they will ask you unjani and then you'll be like the minute you say the the person has left doesn't care if we are pillow and your pill like about booze and bill by unjani go go all right i know that like it was just a culture shock man it was that shock man tina lando so far okay that's not what we are about Okay, so fine. Um, we sit and then go figure again. We go all me ukoko. When this koko enters, like she was so like we connected with her man. Like when she entered, she smiled. She was the first person who actually greeted. Wama wabuzimpi lo. How are you guys doing? And then like we were like, okay, at least some people here greet and how are you how's everything da, da, da. so like and then she greets us and then everything everything and then she goes to the room she goes inside the room the koko that we had just greeted now and we connected with was initiate you know so she goes and she had already initiated um it's it had been like a while maybe like a few months since she had just initiated so she greets us and then she goes to her gobela's room which is the gobela we are here to initiate and then she goes to the room and then she comes out of the room and then she tells us that gobela wake is saying that we my sister and i are her initiates so like we are not going to initiate here where we came we are going to be initiated by her yo we were so happy we were so happy and then she told us to go and take our clothes yo 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 we were so happy because the energy there was just hostile and like i was starting to feel stressed but okay i didn't come here to be stressed i came here to focus on my journey and i can see here but and you can see that these people are not welcoming you it's like you're a threat to them it's like the way you are dressed what what even the suitcases they were asking us but ten why did we come with this suitcase why did we not come with black plastics or or no problem like I guess so far, yo, we were so happy. People were asking, but I bought like niago, piniago, and then we were like, Sarah Bowet. <laughs> like, we were so happy. I wish that my sister was here, so that's this my sister, so my mini story. But anyway, we were like, Sarah Bowet, you know, yo, we were so happy. Then we got into the car, so like, it was like a short distance. Now we have Okobela on chat. 
so the go the gogo that we came to now became our lozy grandmother because she is ukobela ka kobela wetu tina we came thinking that sizozo twasa apa kulo gogo kanti no twasa kwe initiate yake basically sizo twasa kwe initiate yake so fine i can now we we get into the car we are we go to um my gobela's place now uh, kwababa, i'm gonna call her ubaba or ukobela and then i'm gonna call um the first gobela that we thought we were going to initiate so there's ukoko and there's ubaba there's ukoko and there's ukobela ubaba slash gobela so fine we go to kwa koko i mean kwa kobela we too kwa baba we too so when we get there she made us food she introduced us to her family and then they asked us ba where like where are we from her family like her mom and her dad asked us ba where are we from like her biological mom and biological father asked us where are we from and then like we told her that we we told them that we are from the eastern cape and kata and they were like hey, we found out that nah, we found out they are saying we also found out that we are related to ukobela wetu because my gobela's mother was umam chawe and my gobela's father was was born by a woman yakwa maduna and my mother is umam chawe and my dad is umaduna so it's the same thing with her mom mom chawe dad umaduna and then Anita was like it's the same name that i dreamt of uba like i just randomly dreamt of this sending uba sizo twasa khona but like at that point we were not understanding the dreams and then like everything started making sense and then na and i was like oh you are the lady that i saw in my dream when i dreamt uba sizo ba sizo za kulogogo but she will not be ukobela wetu as you initiate wang we we will be initiated by someone else and i saw you in my dream but i didn't know you i didn't recognize who you are because the only person that i knew was lokoko so everything started making sense now but this is the same name anita dreamt of and this is what i dreamt of but she will not be ukobela wetu and I was like, yay, in Kelazama shows. And I was even grateful that Siamis still is partly because everything happened according to how it was supposed to happen. Because if I'm sure if Bessin Akang is Siamis partly, Ukoko, my, like my Josie grandmother, Gang Azanga Vugeli shows, it shows Lim Kaleba, she must tell my Gobela that she must take us and be and initiate us. Because like Ukoko, no, where shows would have taken us as initiating Wokwaki. But yeah, because we left his partly less tanazile and Mrs. Moyeni, it was Lamvuka and I and told her that you need to tell Ubaba Wabo to take them. You need to tell your initiate that she is the one who's supposed to initiate them. So fine, get yeah, that's how everything happened. That's how yeah, we were united or yes, that's how we were united with Ukobela We too. And like everything, like all our dreams started making sense. So fine. On that day when we got there, like she she took um she gave us ama tansi and also when you have your own gansi. Also when you have your own things. Like you have your own things because it dance like that's where you sleep and you connect with your ancestors. Yo. So fine, okay, like the okay, the first day basically so initiates fully, but guess a pasela and whatnot. And then like the second day that's when everything happened when like we um she took we were given everything the tools is obali twasa in we were given in fiselo there too we started making it beats um i think i have a picture where we were making it beats i'm gonna put them here um we started making it beats we started um wearing is yendane like the red skirt like the rest was history man the rest was history and then like we had to sleep at dancing yo betuna lula le kukweni my body was so painful yo akukhumula le dancing betuna na siya iso kole la intuaso siya kula betuna yeyi akukhumula le dancing pati patama ema patama seli Yo, started bathing the cold water. We now started bathing the cold water. Kneeling at Auntie Nibantase. Yo, that was a horror. 
I had black knees, guys. I'm gonna look for a picture. I had black knees. So okay, see I could get and everything. And then we started learning um we started learning everything and we were taught like how to and how to control it and how to all those things we were taught that we were taught i'm not gonna get into details and then this one day um ceremony the ceremony of like for your closing name to come out i will not lie that didn't work for me i didn't see anything um my Josie didn't wake up. Yabana guys and things like that. My Josie, like it was lam I I yo sometimes it stresses me out as well. Cause like sometimes you find like I said I once consulted and Ugogo didn't see anything. Like Livella got funa lona, okay? and that is how i am as well you are really a reflection of it because like because i am someone if and this if and this no more no more and this and this soon and the more you are starting to annoy me so that's just the kind of person that i am as well i do everything get or when the time is right or when spirit allows me and that really really helps even like my sister who anita has in ganizake and that helped us a lot she will tell that story herself when it comes to hair and ink and is like so fine okay they did like young kind to try and evoke it was but that didn't help um my Josie name guys for the longest of time nasala epithrini without having a Josie name um i didn't have a Josie name okay for the longest, longest of time, even my sister like la pumi la ki kamale lozi, kwato ba puma tu yama kama ake lozi, na for all, for the longest of time. So far, naike, time goes, time goes, time goes. Um, I still don't have a lozi name, and okay, so as we were a petu eni name, we were in my lozi um the kwako bela wam. Uh, Kwakobela Wam was like a walking distance to Ukobela Kakobela's place, to my Lozi grandmother's place. It was like uh, maybe like a 10 minute walking distance and then like a 3 minute driving distance. So, okay, sometimes we would go and sleep over Kwa Lozi grandmother. We would go see your Fundela Payanukita, learn like bone readings, learn things there. But Kwa Lozi grandmother, like things were strange there i don't wanna lie like the way things were done was just shocking first and foremost everyone all ibuzu in the same ibuzu or islao or ikobongo how can we all pass a one so i guess biza mazos e to go one i didn't like that it didn't sit well with me to a point where when i'm there i would act like i'm doing it but i wouldn't do it like we had like Anita had Eaki Kamba, I had Elami Kamba, and later um, we were joined by two other initiates, a male and a female. So my sister and I were my Gobela's first initiates. We were her first ever initiates because by the time we got there, it had just been like maybe three months, so she didn't have initiates and we were her first initiates. Then later we were joined by two initiates um who are which were a female and a male and there we had our own things everything because those are the things that's where you're like you sleep and you connect with your ancestors that's where you call upon your ancestors that's your your war 
your more tools so like uh, uh, like when we would go to my dressy grandmother's place like i didn't like how things were done in terms of but yeah you know when you're an initiate you can't say anything you can't say fuck all so i like the fact that we had to all drink ibuzu early one sibanga pick eyes we were literally more than 15 we were more than 15 and i was like Yo, son, I was like, no ways, like, there's no way. So, like, I would act like, okay, and then this is about Charlie, about Monday, or talk, and then this is about my dinner, so touch and go away for no color. But, son, I wouldn't drink that because I'm just like, there's no way we are all calling upon. I might was in one thing and drinking, no way. Moving right along, so from time to time, we would, oh, my favorite part of it, so would be going to a scan game. So, there was also another um guy who um i don't i'm not sure if i should call names but there was also we were four and then there was a fifth guy who also had a calling but i mean a gang in a patron but he would go and sleep over at my gobella's place and we would all go together to escangenisio pasta oh my god okay the first time we ever went to escangenisio pasta we went to pasta with u gobella wam um my Zozi dad drove us to Eskange in Sayopasa. That was a nice experience doing like things with Ukobela way too. And then we came back to the the house and then like starting from there we started going on our own Eskange and we even found Iskanga say to so pasa and like a person man you need to push yourself because I will not lie like Ukobela was not was not pushing us. She was not pushing us. Um and I don't think I blame her because like probably to us you need to push and whatnot and whatnot. If especially if you can see that Ukobela is not pushing and whatnot. Tina, we would push ourselves. Honestly, I do not understand initiates that are lazy. I do not understand initiates that have attitude, that don't want to do rosy work, that don't want to do anything that they are told to do. Because also, you need to do everything that you are told that you need to do, especially if that thing is going to grow you spiritually and it's not going to hinder you, nor like oppress you in any way. If what you are being told, I oppress it, it's not oppressing you it's not violating you either verbally sexually emotionally mentally do it it's going to grow you as those in stop being a lazy initiate if you are about to go to a person if go to aganda umuti do it so clever ukobela and be like don't do that if you you are told to go to Eskang and your pass like, well, it's for your connection with with those lako, you know. So oh, I wish I could relieve this moment. What we would do is we would go to um Eskange Pasa. We would all five of us walk. Remember, success is initiates as a four. And then this um this guy who was he was like my best friend, Jamie Petri, I won't lie. He was my personal best friend. Um, but you know, when he can get a patient, but he ended up in again after Tina says to us, and I would to us, so we would all go to Eskangeni and we would cross a river. There's a river like that river was written, but do not cross, like it's written, it has a sign, but like there's a sign that no swimming, no fishing, no crossing, and we had to cross that river, see Eskangeni, and each and every time and we would walk guys we would walk on our own and each and every time we get to Eskangen, it would start to rain that's how we knew Uba. okay we are here to connect it's either the minute we set foot Eskangen, i'm gonna put up a picture and you guys will see the clouds there's a picture where we went to Eskangen. Clouds would start changing. We have a the time see walker. But when we get to Eskangeni, like honestly, the gods, the ancestors would just be like, 
see I told God, as I told God, and the clouds would start changing and then like the weather would start changing. And then like the minute it would rain as hell. It would rain. That's how I knew that we are connected. We are protected. Our ancestors are within us. That is so beautiful. That's why I'm so in love with nature. Nature like really, it communicates, man. It communicates. So, like, we would always constantly go to Eskangeni, Singenama Bafu, Singenisanama Baf, guys, Waku Mandiman. Like, those moments, in as much as Ba, Waku Kungu, like, when I look back, it's, it's a nice experience. Like, and there's no going back. Cherish whatever that you're going through because there's no going back. Like, I remember we would say Singenama Bafu, Namanza Banda, yo. There's also a picture in Guinea Bible, and I'm like, like, oh my gosh, like I was like shivering. And like that was at that time, like but at the end of the day you have to do it. So and then after we go see the Like literally we, we did everything. We pushed ourselves. We pushed ourselves. I won't lie, we pushed ourselves and like we gobella went to YS Tanashem because we pushed ourselves. We didn't give her a hard time. Like we would wake up, Sasna Kabani would wake up, clean, do everything that needs to be done. See your phone, Nama Tambo, Sifundu Vusela, Exeni, you wake up, you go and tell Kobela what you dreamt of and whatnot. And um, my sister and I, Nana Anita, we were not even supposed to stay for even a month at Pekweni because. Because I and we start dream, we started dreaming of in Kanye too. We started dreaming of everything. that we need. Like we just had to go to a place and for all put us in palace. The rest and the rest, our ancestors want to do on their own. Like I'm sure you guys have gotten a memo by now that like Amazons were to are people who like doing things on their yeah, own like and they don't want to be controlled and things like that so you know just because for whatever good reason so okay fine uh we we at this point we had learned everything and then like um there was a time where we, we went to Mkitini. It was not even a week since it was like three days and there was a homecoming. Um and that homecoming, yeah, homecoming, yeah, to Asalika Lozi grandmother. So when we got there, Ulozi grandmother Sana wanted to humiliate us like my sister and I what must for sale pam wabantu like I don't know like what was has been in a band masin pumalanga guys but she wanted to humiliate us but girl yeah, you know what it was like all jokes on you because Tina Sasingene Epicens Misele on the third day Sasa see Bambile Yung Sela towards my joint to the Mush and the always show him that's your towards us. Sasa see Bambile and I let's yo so she was even shocked that and then like people were like wow like it's not even been like a week that's how we were dedicated to our journey you know or oh of course there's no way that to what we would do sasses minga ye kota yo kwa kunga bi manji guys sis minga ye kota we would go buy i kota and we were not allowed to eat i kota we would go buy i kota when my lozi dad engeko siya amba tina siya shop siya teng i kota and we would buy i coke and then when she comes back we quickly hide everything we make sure that there's no smell and we would also like Go. Uh, I tried a cigarette. I'll put a picture here. You also have more shagasana no coco. Like the um, another initiate who was also a female. So that's time tenga. E cigarette is because experimenta. Like um, my gobella was married and 
she was married to a sango manaye so they were both of gobela betu bobai to babes sango so like the, the the husband was um smoking he would smoke a camel switch so we would also go buy camel switch because it's yeah inuka ka mandi man like inuka i berries so we would try it and whatnot we would smoke a camel switch and then like um we would yo we would take a walk to a mall you see you take savannah but sometimes it's just stay and I told them I was cool and I was cool and I was cool and anything, everything, a person, if you want to shop, I was cool and I was cool and I was cool and I was cool if you want this, I was cool and I was cool and I was cool and I was cool and I was cool like everything, you can't do anything without informing your girl I was cool and I was cool and I was cool and I was cool who I had even forgotten about that. I even forgot like alcohol is amalalambela. But anyway, so get okay, that. Those are the things that we would do. Was ganga tina, um, and then what else about my journey? But honestly, like it was, it was a bitter sweet journey. It was nice. Like I'm so glad that I had my sister to do it with. Cause if I had to do it alone, I wasn't gonna go. I wasn't gonna cope because there were even times where um I was people said that Anajos guys if there's anyone who has been accused of not having issues in life it's me and every time people accuse me of not having issues my Josie will always show up and show off because like every time even a person like if on the day you will puza and palaze, people were sent to check if am I going to puza and palaza it. Like am I in the tabla to kosi? Am I not gonna die in the process? Yo, guys, avan babe fungi ilem. Like, yo, honestly. But get yeah, anyway, moving right along, as I said, I didn't have um a Josie name for the longest of time. And then um as time went by. Um, my sister had it. Oh, God, Abu Kobelawam. She first had a dream where she dreamt like my Zozi name is a four letter word. It's a four letter word, and it's 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 not just a, a regular Zozi name, it's kind of like an English word or an unusual name, Zozi name. And the way it was shown to her in the dream, it was shown in the form of a puzzle in terms of blank spaces and then like she told me that she saw the name and like it was kind of like fill in the, the the missing letters type of vibe so she woke up and she like she woke up from that dream and then exam us because i'm a pupo even though gobela way to tell us about case pupe oku no no we were such an intimate family it was so nice Shem. i will not like even though there were bitter moments there were very very much bitter moments but we cherished the the sweet moments so she told me that she told um Nanu anita that um and the other initiates that okay she had this dream but yeah at that point we couldn't figure out what the name is so okay i came moving right along and gabinat was name still yay guys i think name yes or i think it was the name yam if you get the day before, cause in Vunulo yam, in Vunulo yam, you know, most in Vunulo yako, kazo twasa ipalwa your Josi name. If unchami ungu koko, es bani selanga, uzo palwa es bani selanga, eboka ngo palwa es bani or something. E yam in Vunulo zange ipalwe like um my Josi name, cause go go twasa yo. Like a few days before in Twaso, I still didn't have my Josi name. So kwa unyanza leki leki ndenze in Vunulo. And um in Vunulo we ends up maybe a week before in Dwaso and it had to be written so to you know. So my 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 Vunulo is written so to it's not written my Jose name because even a few days before in Dwaso I still didn't have a Jose name. So moving right along I came we move. So fine, I get we are still trying to figure out my Jose name. It's like a few days before in Dwaso now, like maybe a few weeks before in Dwaso. Then now my sister Anita, she she got a dream. She got a dream of um in the in the, in the dream the the, the 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 person took a white rose and um 
gave it to me and was like rose you know in her dream the person took a white rose and then was like rose like puffed the way like anita described the rose she said it, it was like like pink or white or rose gold but it was like a rare rose and then like he picked up that rose and was like rose to me and he even came with groceries and stuff and then like um time went by still in the same dream and then this person asked Anita about Upi Rose and then immediately Anita knew that oh Upi Rose as in like where am I Munda like Upum suit. So Anita was like um suit and was like eh hey, u rose double. So that's how okay, now we figured out but okay that four letter word that was like fill in the puzzle it's rose and then like i was just like oh my gosh like my ancestors are so bougie why beza ubebe sends sabantu e puzzle or fill in the what what really like why can't you just come and say rose why must you be feeling e puzzles when sabantu ba feeling she puzzles but okay okay anyway moving right along those are my ancestors they are bougie that's me as well so i can't blame them and god's my baby child so that's how kesana i got to know my josie name and that was like i think it was it i knew my josie name two days before in Grasso. and then um again no i think i knew about urozi maybe like five days before in Grasso. and then maybe boma two days before in Grasso. Send Kalilinkani go at that stage and oh Kalilinkani, you don't wear shoes, you don't wear a jersey, no ba banda ganan, no ba you wear the itini, no ba ganeta, you are always wearing a bra and a skirt and no shoes. That's your life. Uja uku kile for wa for I think it's one minute or five minutes between the two, but they set a timer for you. You eat like a dog, okay? Ola Owenja. You kneel down, you eat like this. Obeke esini sanja emva. That's how you eat during a stage. So kalelink ani, and they set a timer for you. And if you don't finish, like me, I'm slow. I always didn't finish. If you don't finish, that's on you. That's on you. Utile ukubile, and you don't eat. Like you are so limited with the things that you can eat. So kalelink ani. So um, okay. Now I got um my my other my other Josie name like um a few days before Indoa so I had a dream and then like um I don't wanna get into details about my dream it's like my secret between Nani Roslam and then that's when I was told my other Josie name that I'm not going to share here that's what that that one is very deep and sacred so. Um, unfortunately guys i'm not going to be sharing that closing name but i was told and i was told that Ungu dash 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 and they said everything about me and everything and everything which i'm not going to share okay so another thing that i forgot to mention guys people would come like people from my closing grandmother's place would come and check but what are we eating and my sister and i share honestly tina we would eat salads we would make ourselves a salad because i can tell say patron you need to eat like veggies and mona they wanted us to eat ipapa ni nyam ipapa ni shibo every day firstly tina we are from the eastern campus please number two like in yama ah no i see tandy long show so we would make ourselves a salad like a green salad and then like of course you can't put a salad dressing so we would put in a lemon lemon juice like we would squeeze a lemon like yo guys like we would make sure we try to make the best out of our experiences and like people didn't like that they were like and we didn't understand because we are like we are eating healthy we are eating healthy you know like cities this is what you're supposed to eat a pastry all right so it was also things like that but they were judging us the way we are dressed why did we come with oh puma a pastry yeah like people like painting i don't like those things 
I don't like those things. Ba, kaba fne kubeba ngatu ya shupeka. Kena bune rozi. Fne wuli papa ni shibo. Haibo guys, come on. I, I'm not saying to eat sushi. Ne, 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 don't, don't. But I'm just eating. Is salad, is salad. Tomato, is lettuce, is cucumber. Ka, I don't. Please. Yo, hey, I sana. Like, that's pila na plumu, shame. I won't lie. And, uh, like, uh, people would be like, oh, slay queen, yellow bone. Everyone would be like, there was even on you, Coco. First days, me ne pili, and he was like, Nina, zon tola nge intuaso. Zon tola nge intuaso. And, like, we were wondering, sense, hey, ni wai sek meles tolo nge intuaso. Make it make sense. And even in the first days, yo, fagum fule ni guys, like, ninte laba abas fagang ayo, especially like, oh, Anita, yo, like, and like, most Anita wears glasses, you know, she wears glasses, so she can't see, and oh, ni manzi ni, like, you can't put on glasses, and you need to be patient with hair, cause like, aboni, even, oh, 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 I'm gonna, like, the way they were handling hair, and she was like, I'm born, I'm born, and then they were like, uzabon, uzabon, like, I don't like those things, like, I don't like those things, why must you, <sighs> they were like, Uzaban, Uzaban, like, what's that? What's on Gana? Like, they were just pulling her. And I got born, anything can happen in Manzini. She can drown. Like, I'm a few niggas a Manzi. Things will happen. And I'm full and like, you shouldn't be shouting and things like that. And when they were busy shouting, Uzaban, and she, Naya, she's also shouting, but I'm born. <sighs> I hate those things. But, um, anyway moving right along those are the things that i don't like about it so like they try to abuse you they try to show you that you are nothing we are nyashua man yo ah sana you and sana i wouldn't have survived if it wasn't for the fact that i will not lie so yeah man that is it about my petrol journey um next week I'm going to talk about the day of Ukulpuza Palaza. I mean, on the next episode, I'm going to talk about when Dalpuza Palaza and when my, my my family came from the Eastern Cape to come and witness in Dwasoze too. And like, Tabatanje Kwamukose, how that day was, how it was, Ukulpuza Palaza and life after that. So for today, I'm just going to leave the video here. And by the way, we were never even visited, not even once. That's because if I'm here to get equal days, Eastern Cape, so they couldn't just come at any point in time. Yo, spending Christmas, oh my gosh, no, that was the first Christmas that I spent away from home. It was not nice. Even at home, it was not nice. Um, nabo babe nga enjoy ba asiko. Um, and then, um, oh, guys, yo, how can I not share my first experience of Ufugwali Zos? It was not my first, 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 because I can have Ufugwali Zos, a kaya nga, I mean, yom sebe nzi, when sa sfaga banda ba dala, a kaya, sen zom sebe nzo, kufaga ma Zos, e ya tenisi, sen zom sebe nzo, that was the first time it was like a book, I got a book, it's Tonya, like, and everything. And I forgot to share about that, um, on that video where I was talking about Ufugwali Zos, a kaya nga, a kaya nga, a but that was the first time. Then there was another time where she said Pesweni and um like he like I also have Amanono. I have like Amanono and if you don't know what Amanono are, it's like baby roses, like uh Majosi, Amantuan, like young roses. That's the best way I can explain Amanono, and that's how I understand them to be. So like I was just feeling cold like I was a person and we were doing um seven so paramisis tunya paramisis lozi and everything and everything so a few days after she sends a girl paramisis tunya for some lozi and things like that the futa and all that this one evening I started crying non-stop like I was just crying non-stop and then like still today I cry non-stop and that day I was feeling cold I remember I was feeling cold I remember I was feeling cold but the, the coldness was not stopping the feeling cold was not stopping the crying was not stopping. Like nan kalangati di lusana guys. Yo, ama no no asa kusaza. 
nesithunya siza kuhlaza kore it was a battle one minute i'm crying usizi the next minute i'm crying at indilusana like oh my god it was just a battle of the the spirits on that day mz ben one d one and i just couldn't handle it so okay my my Josie dad did something yogu yogu and all that and then there was another incident when love gwali lozi skita like that skita oh my gosh like like I've never had an episode where I'm like, yeah, and then I start talking. No, that doesn't happen to me. Let me not say it doesn't happen. It, it, it never happened. It has never happened before. I, I, I either I cry or what? It, another thing that happens is my hands. Once I see my hands doing this and I try straightening them, I know about it was difficult and there's no going back. My hands will do this. And they will get worse. They'll start doing this. They'll start doing this. And then I'll try doing this, straightening them. They will not work. My feet will also start doing this. And I'll start cramping. My feet like will start going weak in a team. Like I don't have legs. And then like I will fall. I will not be able to walk. I will like Yabanam now when my 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 arms and my legs become crippled. You know like how a snake is i become a snake i can't i can't walk with my legs i can't move my legs in the bus straight my arms can't move i can't do anything and you have to pull me because i can't walk with my legs i can't do anything my hands are like this my joints are weak that will be me and then like i'll be crying i'll be crying i'll be crying yes oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh yo and that thing sometimes it wants to happen in public and then i'm always like Yo, kusiam, kusiam, please don't do this to me but yeah that's just it i wanted to share with you guys my experience of Ipeslo. this video was a bit all over the place but i hope you enjoyed and i hope you've taken something from it i hope you've learned that um because there's no way where you're going to give ukobela attitude and whatnot um especially if you're being told to do things that are not detrimental to your spiritual growth but rather are here to groom and grow your spiritual journey and another lesson to ukobela stop abusing initiates stop saying you are not supposed to be doing that I hate it so much. I was called by Anna Lozi and whatnot. <clears throat> Moving right along, Ipeslo is a bittersweet. I didn't share every everything because if I could share everything, your son and video, it would need to have like five parts on its own. So Ipeslo is very bittersweet and mostly it's bitter than sweet. But you have to cherish each and every moment of your journey because it's not going to come back. In Zelia, back in Zelia, Pam. So with that being said, please take care of yourselves holistically, take care of yourselves mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. I love you guys so much. Please don't leave without subscribing. Please do share if you can and tag me on Instagram at Bujigogo. Um, please guys subscribe, subscribe, road to 150 subscribers. I know I have subscribers who have not subscribed. Please subscribe and please do comment on the comment section down below. Let's engage. The more you engage, the more YouTube is going to spread the videos to other people. The algorithm will be on our side. Please guys, I love you guys so much. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you on the next episode of the journey series. Uh, uh. So was that.